because of how the last couple games went, just how bad did you guys need a win today? I mean, <clears throat> for sure. I mean, anytime you can get a win, um, kind of in a losing streak, you know, um, it's, it's, it's dope. Um, I think it definitely helps the morale around here and um, definitely, you know, help us get into this week, um, get back rolling and get doing what we do. But, I mean, it was a big-time win against, a, you know, a, a rivalry opponent and um, a team that's kind of had our numbers the last couple of years. So, um, for us, it was, it was a pretty big win. What did Gino show you on that last drive? I mean, what he's been doing all year. You know, um, he's just mentally tough, mentally different, and, the way he, he reacts in those situations, you know, you can believe in him, trust him that, you know, he's going to go down and do his thing. And, you know, we had great catches from everybody on there. You know, we had great catches from, um, from Marquise and um, Locke and DK and Noah. You know what I mean? just He just spin the ball out, get it done, you know, doing what he's been doing, completing passes and moving the chains. When you're watching that final drive, are you watching do like on the screens or are you up there watching? Like, no, nah, I was watching on the screen because I'm like, well, if we got to go back out there, I need to figure out, you know, kind of what – the other team is going to be anticipating what I'm anticipating the other team to do and things like that. But I mean, while coach is talking to me, of course, I ain't really, I got one, one eye on the game and one eye on the coach trying to listen and see what he's talking about, but also trying to cheer my guys on. So um, definitely, you know, those are some nice screens, so might as well look at them. What do you think of the way Cody Barton's played the last few weeks? I mean, he's played well. You know, he had a big time play um, at the end of the um, end of the game to seal the game. And um, I mean, he's going to continue to grow and um, you know, he's running around doing his thing, and um, it's been impressive to see. No question. You know, um, it's one of my favorite teammates in the, in the world. You know what I mean? Um, me and Bobby talk very regularly anyway, so um, we didn't really talk before the game. He knows me. I know him. But, um, you know, after the game, we just had a moment. We embraced. You know what I mean? I just told him how appreciative I am for, you know, everything he's done for me. Um Coming here in 2019, he was one of the guys that took me under his wing and just kind of showed me the way, you know, showed me what's the, the standard around here, what's, how things are supposed to go. And um, I'm just trying to continue that, you know, um, you know the culture and everything. All, it started with, with Bobby, you know, I mean, it started with him. And for me, it just continues just to lead it on. Curry kept his sixth interception, another nice pass breakup. What have you been seeing out of him? I mean, the thing that I was more impressed with was just, you know, his tackling today. You know, he was physical, you know, and um, the picks and, you know, all that is cool, but you don't want to be labeled as a cover corner. You know, you want to be somebody that has an all-around game. And um, I think that was what was more impressive, you know, than interception. We know he can do that. You know, we know he can play man. You know, he can, you know, um, get pass breakups. But, you know, teams going to try him in the run game. He took that step today, which is very cool for me to see. How many corners in the NFL excel at both that are really good cover guys can also tackle really well? I mean, you saw one today, you know, on the other team. You know, um, Jalen's been doing it for a long time. He's been very physical in the run game, and he's played very well, you know, covering receivers. So, you know, if you want to be in the upper echelon, uh, you know, the best in the league, you got to be able to do both. And um, I think that's the next step for him, and um, I think he'll continue taking those steps because I'll continue to challenge him. Is it any more impressive the game winner than he did come against Jalen, the best cover guy? I mean, it's cool, you know what I mean? But that's that's what we expect out of DK, you feel me? Um, it's DK Metcalf, you know, it's not, you know, it's DK, it's, it's big on big, you know what I mean? You want those opportunities. DK wants them, Jalen wants them, and, um, you know, DK won it today, and, you know, I'm going to have another battle at the end of the year, and it'll be another impressive matchup between those two. So um, we all know what DK is, you know, you, you expect that from him. Hey, Miguel. Talk to Matthew Stafford. Yeah, I talked to him before and after the game, but he's doing good, you know, um, taking care of himself. And um, I actually sent him a text a couple of weeks ago, you know, to be careful with that and just, you know, um, understand, you know, he's bigger than football. And now will always be my guy, you know. Um, I hate to, I hate that he's not out there playing because I love competing against him. And, of course, I love getting interceptions off of him. So um, whenever he's back healthy, I think he'll be back out there. And, you know, if that's next year, then, you know, we'll see him next year. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.